you know, when I was a kid, I could do the most amazing things with my Meccano set, and yet I couldn't write my name. Now, I think it's absolutely essential that students uh, learn to use their hands, literally. No one, uh, 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 nut, bolt, spanner, and etc., because they become so computer dependent, Google searching, all that stuff, mobile phone technology. I mean, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, huh, they don't even know how to drive a nail into a piece of wood, but this is an illustration where they know more than that. They can use their hands and invent or create something, hopefully, which is quicker than that one there. And that's what it's all about. The thing is, what I'm trying to do also is to make people aware that we're all inventors, right? Also, we're all engineers. I mean, during the Second World War, the women did the engineering, literally. Our boys were flying and, you know, dying. Uh, uh, and they were back there making aircraft, doing this, that and the other. But on this event, we have some women involved. And um, I think it's essential that we highlight them. One, I, one of the questions I asked one of the ladies who was running this show was, had they ever heard of Mary Anderson? She said, what? Who's she? Do you know who Mary Anderson is? Well, Mary Anderson, I think it was in 1903 or 1904, she invented the windscreen wiper. Now, we've all got windscreen wipers on our cars, and yet none of us knew it was invented by a woman, Mary Anderson. Another lady, Stephanie Quellick, never heard of her? Middle-aged lady, right? She invented Kevlar. You know, the bulletproof material that's used by the police, the army, the number of lives that have been saved as a result of Kevlar, and yet nobody knew it was invented by this woman. So we've got to, you know, change the image. You know, uh, engineers are not necessarily oily rags. All right. Um, as I say, when I was a child, I could do the most amazing things with my Meccano set, but I couldn't write my name, but it stays with you all your life, you know. Um, I, I, I think it's fun. Let me show you some stuff. Wow. Right? Right. There's a, a Meccano racing car. And how long, and is this one you built? That's a later one, yeah. But you built uh, it yourself? Uh, my colleague did that one. Wow. Uh, my, this is my electric shoe. Yeah. This wire. Yeah. That's it. Now, here's one. Look. Look at this. And you made them radio controlled? Yes. Yeah. See, it's a radio controlled Range Rover. If you put that up there. Yeah. Okay. Now this is the one that make you laugh. Okay. <laughs> I think the most important thing I always say to people is, look, whatever you do, do what gives you a buzz. Life's not just about money. Huh? Who wants to be the richest man in the graveyard? You know, no pockets in a shroud. Huh? You see these guys in their whistles and flutes going off to town in the middle of, you know, about half past six in the morning looking immaculate. They go to the east end of London, right? Where they're looking at their watch because there's an important meeting about the staff toilets at two o'clock. Then they hack their way back, all the way back from the east end of London. Then they watch EastEnders, right? That's, you know, day in, day out, you think, huh? And then, of course, this chap or woman, whatever, has a heart attack at the age of 42. Boom, but... She left 6.5 million pounds to the cat's home. Why didn't she work in a cat's home? Do you see what I'm saying? Always follow your heart. Do what gives you a buzz. Have a life. And that's more important, you know. I always say, art is pleasure, invention's treasure. <laughs>